who said you must use an expensive ferro crimping tool from Germany to terminate wires and tidy them up for your electrical project? Perhaps these affordable ferro crimping plus from Kaiwitz might just be all you need. Hello and welcome to Plasman, your home for everything you need to know about plus. And in this video, I will review the new Kaiwitz wire ferro crimping toolkit right after this break. As I have mentioned, I am reviewing and testing the Kai Wits Wire Crimping Toolkit, model number KDC01. I received this kit for free to test it and I must say I am impressed. The kit comes with a crimping tool, 1200 pieces of different sizes ferro sleeves ranging from size 7 to 22 gauge, or if you are a metric person, the sizes are 10 mm squared to 0.5 mm squared. There is also a simple uh, wire stripping tool in the kit, but I doubt it will be very useful. Everything comes in a nice lockable plastic carry case that makes storage and transportation of the kit quite easy. The carry case has partitions that keep the ferro terminals from mixing up. Moreover, the top cover is transparent so that you can see how many ferrules are left without opening. The case has a hanger that you can use to hang it on the pegboard or wall. So let's start with the features of the ferro crimper. The pliers open and close nicely and have a ratcheting mechanism that lets you squeeze the handles progressively until the ferro is nicely in place. There is also a locking lever that keeps the pliers locked, but from my experience, the lever sometimes slips and fails to lock, so you have to try more than once. The Kaiwitz ferro crimping pliers in this kit are about 7 inches long and the crimping jaws have 4 sides. The handles are ergonomic and comfortable, and as you can see, the black rubber mold is textured to allow a solid grip. Now it's time to test the crimper with different ferro sizes starting with gauge 22 or if you like 0.5 mm squared. I'll be using the double stranded wire from a microgrid battery bank temperature sensor. And I'm also using the Kaiwitz KWS 103 self adjustable wire stripper to strip it. Check out my review video for this tool in the link above. As you can see, the crimper does an excellent job of securing the ferrules. It crimps them uniformly into a square shape that is perfect for terminal blocks. The next size is 20 American wire gauge or if you like 0.75 mm squared. This is a twin conductor Romex cable for wiring LED lights or any application that requires about 3 amps. Again, I use the self adjustable wire stripper from Kaiwitz to remove the sheath and insulation. And as you can tell, the crimper puts on the ferrule securely and perfectly. Before we move on to the next wire size, kindly hit the like button because I know you are liking this video. And while at that, Please click the subscribe button to join my plans while if you haven't already. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the next size. The next size of wire onto which I'll be putting this crimper to test is the 18AWG or if you like 
0 mm squared. This is ideal wire for household wiring for lights, lamps and panels. As you've noticed, I like the wire strands to protrude on the other side of the ferrule just to be sure that they are crimped properly. On how the pliers worked, I cannot complain. The ferrules are tight and pass the pull test. Now let's try the 10 AWG or 6mm squared stranded wire. This is the perfect wire for wiring sockets and home appliances that draw high current such as electric, water heaters and clothes dryers. On this one, I am not impressed. The ferrule comes right off when I try to pull it. The same happens with the 7 AWG or the largest wire this crimper can crimp. After testing this ferro crimping toolkit from Kai Wits with different wire sizes, my overall feeling is that the Kai Wits KDC01 ferro crimper is ideal for crimping wires smaller than 10 AWG or 6 mm squared. On the price, this is good value for money. You would be hard pressed to find a better deal. It is the perfect choice for professional and DIY electrical projects that utilize small stranded wires such as control panel wiring, wiring of LED lights, car wiring, electronics wiring, and indoor lighting wiring. As such, I don't recommend using this kit to terminate wires that are thicker than 10 AWG. That being said, always remember to do the pull test when you crimp a ferrule or a regular terminal connector. This will ensure integrity of your wiring. If you liked this video, kindly hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also let me know in the comment section what you found most helpful. And if you'd like to receive more of this content in your feeds, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to know when I post a new video. It's bye bye from me, see you again in the next one. Adios.